Hey guys, Almost Addicted here, and today I'm going to teach you how to build this large desert house tutorial. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it's super sleek, it's super detailed, it's got everything you need to survive, and yeah, it's just a large, awesome house. Pretty epic. So I'm going to be building this with you guys, block for block, and it's nice and easy to follow along. Uh, so grab your popcorn and get ready because we're going to build an absolutely awesome house. If you really enjoy these videos, I've only just come back to YouTube after a year's break. So all the likes and subscribes are brilliant. It really does help my channel get back on track because after a while of not posting, uh, YouTube doesn't really promote my videos as much as it used to. So it really does help me for you guys to watch the video all the way through. And I will try my best to go all out and make builds like this all the time. I'm going to try and upload every single day. Maybe it might be the odd day where I can't upload, but I really am trying. I've got medieval houses. I've got medieval castles coming soon. Japanese castles, everything. So make sure you subscribe ready, slap a like on the video, and let's build this awesome house. Right guys, so let's build this awesome desert house. It will fit in a 38 by 41 area. And uh, I've mapped this out so um, you can actually pause the video, take a look, and you can count those out. But I'm gonna count them with you so it doesn't really matter. So we're gonna go from the left-hand side of the front here, count 14 blocks across, which will get you to here. And then you're gonna count one, two, three, four, five. On the fifth block, we're gonna place a sandstone. The materials we're going to be using in this video are going to be the cut sandstone, the sandstone, the sandstone stairs, the smooth sandstone. I can't even say sandstone. <laughs> sandstone. Yes. Uh, spruce slabs, uh, spruce fence, uh, spruce gates and oak gates. We're going to have the spruce trap doors, maybe some buttons, chains, lanterns, maybe all the survival stuff, crafting table, some dirt blocks or grass blocks, whatever you can get hold of, dead bush, some flowers, some bamboo, campfire maybe, plant pot, some composite or whatever, and then a barrel and then some bone meal and whatever you're going to grow and stuff like that, some plant pots, some bushes and stuff. So yeah, our first block is going to be the stairs of the sandstone. Okay, so we're gonna go around like that. Just place this there and count one, two, three, four, five, six, and then turn around to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Turn around. One, two, three, four, five. Turn around and then close it off like this. Now I'm in 1.16 and the reason for that is uh, basically what I can do, I'm just gonna get a grass block is when I place some of the dirt or grass block or whatever you're choosing in here, when it comes time to actually um, placing some water in here, I'm just gonna do it now with you. Um, it just looks really cool like it's actually hydrating the grass. I don't know if that actually hydrates the grass. It might do, it should do, to be honest, to grow your crops, so that should be enough. But if it doesn't work, oh no. If it doesn't work, you can obviously just take some blocks out and fill your water in. It doesn't work in survival, but I just thought it looks really cool like it's draining through your water through there. I'm going to do the same here as well. So I'm going to get this. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Either side of that, you're going to have to do that just so the water doesn't flow out. And then I'm going to take one out here eventually so that water flows through. So the water that was flowing through here should flow through to that. So we're going to put two here and we're going to be removing that one and then the water should flow into it if we've done it correctly. So now over here I'm going to count one, two, three of any sandstone block. I'm going to re remove those two bits there just so it kind of works. And I'm going to place some grass in here like this and we're going to leave this bit open now we can open the floodgates and that can go through fill it up a bit and go around here and fill this stuff in and in fact i might just leave it take two grass blocks out there and fill it in like this and make sure it doesn't overflow because that is not a good sign and then across the top here i'm gonna go like this i'm gonna count one one two and then another one. In fact, we're going to put stairs on like this now. 
and then I'm gonna put a stair facing up like that and you should have that sort of pattern. I'm gonna put some spruce trap doors across the top and then when we put our water supply in, it's just gonna flow out into this so we can actually fill these, make sure they're filled up. So it flows into that little garden and then it flows into this little garden. Now, if you just want that as an actual pool, you can do that, but I kind of like the two little gardens like that. I just think it looks really nice, I think. It looks all right. It's not the best, it's not the worst, really. But it's a nice little water feature. Anyway, <laughs> don't know what I'm on about anymore. Uh, I'm gonna grab the sandstone, the actual sandstone. I've got loads of it here. And I'm gonna place, in fact, we'll count over here. So from this corner here, count one and then two place a block on there and then we're gonna place a block that one will go there and this one will go here right so that was just a placement block we're gonna count one two three four at the side that one can actually stay like that maybe I don't know yeah whatever so we've got our placement block there and then to the right we're gonna count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven like that so that should fit in perfect which it does which is very nice awesome that's working that goes around there right now so we're going to count here that one we're going to go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven place a block and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Place a block, and then we can just square this off. So we've got our first square in our build. So I'm going to trim around this, and this is going to go up 17 high. It's best working on the main building first, getting all the frame for it, and then you can add all the detail in after. So that's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Just double check that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yep. So I'm going to square this off. This is our first bit of the main building. Uh, so we should have about two or three stories um, within this build which is good and then we've got some nice gardens and stuff and uh, yeah I'm just kind of freestyling this I got a little bit of inspiration from a build I saw it had no tag so I don't know um, if you kind of like see little bits of this build I think it's just this part and this part and then I've added all the rest of it and obviously added my own little details to it but if it kind of looks like someone else's let me know down in the comments um, and then I'll pin the comment because I don't want to just like I just saw the build it had no like um, what is it had nobody attached to it it was just on Google so yeah um, but I got a little bit of inspiration for it and then I just made an absolutely huge house from it but I got this kind of design here which was just that square and that square with the two roofs on and then I just added my own little bit. So yeah, um, we'll go on to this bit. I think it's gonna be, let's go from this corner. So we're at the front. Count one, two, three, four, five. Still with the sandstone. And then count one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven. Close that together like that. And this is gonna go up, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe nine. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bring this up to nine. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna go like that across the top and we'll bring this one in as well. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bring that across, bring that across and bring that across. So we've got two squares now perfect and outside here I'm gonna cut put some cut sandstone so we count one place one two gaps and one that's gonna be our front doorway so yeah now let's work on this little bit here so we're gonna trim around with the sandstone again starting from this corner one two three four five six seven eight and then counting this one one two three four five six seven eight nine and then out one two three and then this way one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Should line up with that. 
and let's square off to over there. So we're going to come around here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And it should be in line with that post there. And then we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Bring that across like that. And then we're going to have a one gap and one, two, all the way around. And we can actually fill that in with some grass blocks or whatever dirt blocks you've got. So that's going to be that there. And then these here, um, we're going to put a post on each one. So that's one and there. One, two, three, four, five. Place a post, two gaps between each one. And then I'm going to remove the black block underneath because we don't need that. Don't need any of these tracing lines really. And then from this, I'll start over here actually. One, two, three. On the fourth one, count three back. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And then we can fill that in with our grass block as well. It's gonna be a little garden side. You can add some flowers in there, or you can grow your crops as well, which is good. Um, so let's go around to the back of the building now. So this is the very back and as you can see we've got a square And then we're going to go across like this. We'll start from this side actually because there's going to be stairs there So we count one two three four five and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven Should be in line with that one. We're going to have stairs going up there and uh, yeah, so we're going to count one two three four and it should be five altogether. And uh, in fact, I'm gonna put stairs up to it first so we can kind of see. So starting from here, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Another one height. And another one height. And another one height. And another like that. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. So we can bring this up to the same height. So from here, place a block, place a block that comes all the way up to the stairs. And then we're gonna go across like this. And we can just fill this in here. It's gonna be our stairs going up. where those stairs are yet uh, if you want to what you can do is you instead of these blocks here if you think that looks messy you can always extend it with some of these instead and it just makes it look nice and clean so you can keep that so let's go to this side now so on this side and we're going to count with the sandstone one two three four five six seven eight nine bring it all the way across until we meet with that big line as well. And then we could put another garden here. So one gap, one, two, three, bring it all the way to the wall that we've just placed. And then we can place that grass block in. And we've got our main foundation almost. So we're gonna bring this up. That's one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we can bring it across like that so it's at the same height as that one with this you can might as well bring it across like that as well and then bring it all the way across and just square this one off as well so it's all up to nine like that and then bring this one across as well on the inside making life a little bit easier and we have got our main foundation I'm gonna bring it out the front so we're at the front now so this wall is gonna go up by one two three four five six maybe one two three four five now let's go for five so that's one two three four five bring that across and it should join onto there and we're going to do the same here so bring this across and bring this one up like that and then bring this up where we've got our stairs and we might as well put our stairs here so we'll put one two three four keep doing it until it reaches the very top like this yep perfect and I'm gonna do the same with the wall so 
I'm gonna go all the way across here, keep it nice and clean. I can fill in these points here. And in fact, I might fill these points in with smooth sandstone or something different. So we'll get the smooth sandstone like this, fill that in up to the stairs. And we might as well go across the top with our sandstone there. So that's good there, we've got that there. Let's go like that. And then for our windows, all of the windows, I'm gonna have one block placed there. I might actually do it at the bottom. One block placed there, one block placed there in the um, to, to, to cut sandstone. And then at the side, we'll do some smooth. Now, if you don't like the bottom trim there, you can always trim that off and make it look nice and smooth like that. So you've only just got the edges there. And you can do the same for uh, this as well. So you can kind of have it all in smooth sandstone and then have that running around. Same with this one over here that we did here when you filled it in at the bottom. If you just like that smooth sandstone look, everything that we've placed, just place that. I'm gonna have a window there and stuff, but just up to that point, we can have the smooth sandstone. So it's entirely up to you if you wanna leave it like that, you wanna have it the other way, you can do it, do it both ways, that's completely fine. Um, but yeah, that's going down like that, that's fine, I like that. And even if you want one coming down from this point, so it kind of levels off of that, and then it smooths sandstone there. So it's entirely up to you. You can change it about a little bit. You can divert from the original design, that's completely fine. Um, so let's work on to, should we do the doorway? Should we work on this panel and this panel here? And then, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna get my stairs one two there the smooth stands in can't speak honestly I swear get the smooth stands there one two three one two three either side like that and then we're gonna have our doorway of course so it's gonna be too high and then above it we're gonna place that like that and then the rest of it you can fill it in with smooth sandstone just to the top like that now, if you would like, you could have something like this. You could have like a line going through here, like that, keeping it nice and smooth. Fill all that in. And then um, I'm gonna have a window at the top and a window at the side here. So if you wanted to keep that there, but like have a two window, you can have some smooth stands there, one, two, one, two, like that. Have a one window there, or you can have a two window. It's entirely up to you. And then of course, if you're doing the windows, you want to put these things here. It kind of makes it look nice. And then I'm gonna get some of the slabs and the trap doors like that. And then for the inside, we're gonna be using the um, gates, the oak gates. So oak gate there, oak gate there. And then for the top of the windows, top there. And we can put some spruce slab underneath. You can have a spruce slab there, or you can have a slab, kind of like the slab, that kind of works. And then across the door, we count one, two. And if you want the door even higher, you can go like this. And then have something like that. And then have a door that goes one, two. Put that underneath there. That there, that there. Something like that. Or if you want it higher, so you get it higher like that. And put these underneath. It's entirely up to you, you can mess around with it, but let's say something like that, that works. And then we've got that little ingrain, and then yeah, that works good. So for the door wise, I'm gonna use the spruce door, and then for the fences, I'm gonna use something like a spruce fence coming up like that. I think that's a nice doorway. Put the door from the inside, so it looks cool from the outside. And then if you would like a window or something, you could have like a window like this, but instead you could put these blocks at the side like that. And then this in. And then maybe across the top you could just have something like that. Just a nice little idea, design or something like that. If you want your window even bigger, you can do that. So there's loads of different ways that you can do it. I'm just trying to give you some ideas so um, yeah, make sure you watch a little bit in advance because I will be taking some out just to show you different variations. Yeah, so anyway. So let's work on the next bit. I'm gonna have um, 
maybe something here. So we'll get the smooth sandstone here. I'm going to place two cut sandstone. I'm going to have a window that's too high. Like that. So we've got that there. And then we can just fill the smooth sandstone all the way around it. Do the same for the window. So one at the top, one at the bottom. And then put our trapdoors like that. And then of course we can place our oak fence top and bottom like that. You can move the windows, they don't have to be there, they don't have to be in a certain place. You can move them around, that's completely fine, that's entirely up to you. Um, let's put a window here so we'll get a smooth stand, sandstone. I swear, I can speak some days. Um, I just can't say sand, sandstone very well. I don't know. Right, one, two, three gaps like that. Smooth stuff all the way around. And then for this one, one up there, one down there, one underneath, and then you can have your fences there and there, like that. Perfect, nice and clean lines, looking nice. And um, for over here, maybe you could do another one like this, coming up like that, and then the smooth sandstone going up to there. Let's have a window here, let's say, hmm. Let's do this one three height. So on top of here, let's do it at this height. So one, two, three, and then three heights. So count one, two, three, three across the top, and then we can just fill the rest in with the smooth sandstone. Nice and clean, nice and fresh. Beauty, beauty thing. Yes, that means something, I swear. Right, and then, the oak fences there and there that is clean that is clean brother sorry got that outburst and then at the side here we've got that we might as well do this window and this window here as well let's put a, tr a three little window here now if you want to go into the ground let's put one on the ground one two three have a free window there finish the rest off in the smooth and then one, two, three. One, two, three. Put this across. If you want to change the window so it's like that. You know, you can do that as well. And then that going across there, that going across there. Very, very nice. And then I'm going to have a lantern coming from there. So I'm going to put one there ready. Ready for a little, little bit later, as they say. So we've got that. Um, Let's work on, so we've got that, that's nice. We've got this going around here. Let's do a smooth sandstone. Let's find the middle here, and let's do a big window here. Let's do a five window, five like that, and count one, two, three, and then on the fourth one, bring it all the way across by five, and then two sandstone, smooth stand sandstone at the side of this, going up the side, and there should be one, two, three, sandstone there. In fact, let's make it one more, eh? just so it's nice and symmetric with what I'm going to be doing here. So there and there, it's going to be in the middle of that. So we'll take that one out. So three at the side of this one, and then three at the side of this one. Probably works a little bit better. Like that. Nice and then do it across the top as well. And then we're gonna have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Put this under like that. Perfect. And then we're gonna count one on the second one. We're gonna place our spruce wood fence. And then one on the second one, spruce wood fence. Two gaps, one, two gaps, one. And then I can get rid of these. Now height wise for this, let's say, let's go one, two, three, four, maybe five. So that's one, two, wrong one. One, two, three, four, five. And then that should go, hmm. Yeah, I think that could work because that'll go over the window. So yeah, five there, one, two, three, four, five. Same with this one, one, two, three, four, five. And this one, one, two, three, four, five. 
and then across the top here in fact what we can do for this one we can go like this and join these together so we've got that nice trim like that and we're going to place some of this going over the top of it so we can go around one two three four just over the top like that and then double it up like that and then we can do one more height which will be like this and then we can leave that little indent there just adds to the roof but if you don't like that you can of course fill that in so like that let's get that trap door up there that's looking good I like it and then um, we can have I'll add the details to that a little bit later add stuff around it so we've got that I think we should work on let's work on this front here so this one here yeah I think that'll work so from here let's get the smooth sandstone I'm using actual sand there I want the smooth sandstone that going all the way up to the top on that side so that's one and let's have the doorway hmm have the smooth stand, sandstone there we're gonna have a two doorway so we'll bring this up and then uh, we might as well bring this up here so like that adding a bit more texture to it and then the smooth sandstone up this side we'll have our window here we could maybe do a two window or a one window might do a two window or a one sorry let's go like that let's place one two and um, yeah place our cut sandstone one there as well and then smooth at the top like that might bring that down but I'll do the roof first have a mess around with that and of course that under there that under there one under there and then we're gonna place our oak wood fence I think it's best to uh, work on this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some of this spruce fence and this is gonna go all the way around this it's gonna go all the way around the building actually go all the way around here all the way around here now this bit here we might as well bring this all the way across and square it off with the building because this is actually gonna come around and be part of uh, the roof so bring this round like this all the way across here and round to this side all the way around here all the way around here and it should join on back there we can do the same for the top roof as well but you can wait for the top roof to do that um, until you work on that bit but you can do it ready you can get your stairs up there ready if you're in survival so you've got some stairs to work on the build from all different angles so we've got that going around there so now what we're going to do is got to trim this round just around the outside with half a slab of the spruce now that leaves that little bit underneath as you can see and it just leaves that little trim going around which looks really nice so I'm going to bring this round the whole build and uh, let me know what you think so far and uh, slap a like on the video and uh, subscribe if you've just come along or think about subscribing you don't have to su subscribe if you don't want to but if you feel like subscribing you do that because I'm coming out with new builds like this every single day or I'm gonna try and get back into the swing of doing it every day uh, so yeah once we've done that we're gonna do another level and this is gonna go over the top of all these fences making sure it's on top of these fences can be quite tricky doing this bit here I might go down here it's a better level so we're gonna go all the way around and fill this and hopefully I need to think of something for the doorway there I haven't thought of anything for that yet but it will come to me I will just work on it as I go I just kind of freestyle these I've got an idea in my head or I take a little bit of inspiration something I like and then I uh, add my own stuff so yeah there we go we've got that on 
I might do this one more height because that would mean I could then place my um, yeah, spruce on like that, my fence. So this will go all the way around, trimming on the inside. And this is going to be our ground floor for this first little level. So we might as well fill in our smooth sandstone there and a smooth sandstone there. And then trim off this roof here. And from the inside it looks quite cool because it leaves a line as well. So thinking about the inside we've got some nice trimming as well which always works well. Now for this what I'm going to do, I'm going to have this here, so that's one from there. And then this is going to go, let's do the doorway first maybe. And then we can do either side of the doorway. So that's one, two, three. So one, two, three, yeah. So for the doorway, let's grab this. And I might do the stairs as well. So we'll do what we did there. I think that's probably best, isn't it, really? Okay, so put the stairs, stairs across there. And then we can have this across the top. And then the smooth across here. And then um, we'll have this here. These either side. And then we can use the fence to come up and join that like that. We could maybe have a window here as well. Should we have a window here? Should we do it? Should we should we make a window there? Let's let's make a window here. So bring that down. Let's do it the same height as everything else. So that that there, and then we can put this across there and across there like that. I think that looks rather nice. Looks cool. Have that doubled one there. And if you want the door in a, di a different place, you could have the door as a three. So you could have something like this instead and just move it along one and then you wouldn't you would have a gap here which might look a little bit better so let's try that see what that one looks like and get this like that and then our trap door either side let's get the actual trap door i think it would work if we actually had the the, the actual trap door and there and there sorry and there and then um, this is going here, like that. So I think that works, that would work well. So once we've got that, of course we're going to have that across there as well. So you can change it about. So you want this going all the way up to the top, from, starting from this, and going all the way across here. And bring it up here. So that's one either side of the door. Let's let's do it here so it lines up with this one. And then it's a bit more symmetric, looks smoother. Let's get this going across the top here. We're gonna have our bushes on there. So that's nice there. Now um let's see. Should we get some logs going through? Um I just wanna make sure it is. I don't want to take too much out. Let me just experiment a second. Let's put it on this level. So get the log to there. And maybe have two gaps in between each one. Maybe something like that. Something like that. Wait. That's one there. Don't worry, I'll show you guys once I've uh, done it. Just making sure it looks good. Making sure it looks good for you guys. Right, yeah. I think that would be perfect. Now, if you want this to run all the way through it, so it'd be the left of the door. If you want it to look like it's actually supporting the whole thing, I think that might be a cool way. And then we'll uh, right of this window here. And then you can see from the top, so this top layer, it's got one gap there, and then it's just the one there. So this will go through like that. Something like that. I think it might look cool. But that going through, I think it works quite well with it. But if you want the same as this one, so that one going there and this one coming through from this side, you could do that as well. So that coming through, so that going to there. But when it comes to this, that won't be symmetric. So if you like symmetrical things, you could double it up. So you could have two logs there instead. 
which keeps it symmetrical. I kind of like it like that, so I'm going to keep it like that. And then you could have maybe a little fence going across there to keep it nice, or if you don't like that, you don't have to use that. Still loads of different ideas for you there. Now, from this, what I'm going to do from this, we're going to go, let's place a block here, actually. I'm going to do this, right, so let's place a block where that one is a block where that one is and then we can use these as pillared supports for our thing going up here so this is going to go up to the same height as these up here and it should could turn that into a full block and then bring it up bring this one up so it's at the same height as this one you can turn that into a block like that and then we could have this trimming all the way across like this and it can fit into these things just making sure it's that height with the top one you can turn this into a block as well so you just put one underneath and that'll support it like that and then we can add some bushes on that looks nice down there we've got that and then i might actually put like a little thing there as well but yeah bush wise i'm going to use some of the oak so you can place some oak going over the top of this, just go all the way around and just place it on the top like that. And if you want some overspill, if you want it a bit more kind of uh, rustic and stuff, you can have it coming down the building and stuff like that. So you can have it creeping out of there and then kind of folding down the building. So it's kind of winding down like that. And we can do the same for this top one as well. But we'll do this roof first so we'll go like this go all the way around this and then round to this side and then round here and it should just slot into there like that and then when this goes over the top it'll look cute let's just do it over the top of the railings there fill all that in and then if you want some overspill on this as well, you can have this coming down, maybe staggering down the build here. You can even take that out so it's kind of running up there and that as well. So it kind of runs up like that. Looks pretty cool. I can get down with that. That's pretty awesome. And then some underneath if you want some poking out like that kind of thing. Right, so let's go over the top of this across the top of all the railings sometimes they actually uh, you poke them through like that so you've got to be careful when you're placing them go around like this um, I think I'm going to go around and stop there and then we can go across these bushes now just to seal it in and we're going to have to go around another one time because I think that's enough for that roof you don't want it too high and peaking because of these desert houses they don't really look like that they're more flat sort of roofs but uh, yeah so we've got that maybe do one more going round for this top one just to make it a bit more higher than all the others make it stand out and I wonder if a desert house would have a chimney you can put a chimney poking through the top here if you would like or what you can do is just fill it all in so you can get that all filled in and you can have little skylights or something like that if you wanted um, let's say that there's a two run there a two run here and a two run there just two going round the outside like that and then facing from the front one there one there and we can bring this across like this this across like this and then we can fill in that there same at the other side Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. and then you can get some of the oak trapdoors if you would like or you can just fill it all in and have done like that but you can have that over the top just to let a little bit of light in coming through the roof like that nice little roof nice little basic finisher roof there and um, for these windows here you see it's quite plain up there maybe we could take it a little bit higher just so it looks kind of cool so we'll take that out and uh, yeah place that across there I think it'd work 
a little bit better, hamming it a bit higher actually, so yeah, I'm going to go with that. But you can keep it the other height, but yeah, I think that's perfect, it still gives it a nice look. Now for this bit here, we're going to have this, let's say we we'll do it three height and then that way, it's the block height to be able to have some fences, yeah. So we'll do this going around this roof now, another one. fill all that in we might as well fill that in to there so while we're getting this on it's at the same level it's all in line and looking good so let's fill this in now fill all this roof in and I'm working on my um, castle which is a blackstone castle so that will be out soon but that's a lot bigger so it's gonna take me a lot of hours to do that um, but I've got about three or four hours in um, so far, something like that. I don't think the video will be that long because um, I've cut out quite a bit of it. But yeah, so from each one of these corners, I'm going to place one like that. And for this, for something a little bit different, I'm going to use some of the gates of the spruce instead of the oak like the other ones. And instead of it just being fences because it looks a little bit different doesn't it the gates it's got that different sort of feel to it so I kind of like that and then let's trim some bushes on the inside of it so like that and it just makes those gates stand out a lot more from the outside let's bring it to there so let's take a look yeah kind of like that that's nice and then from here let's say we'll get some smooth sandstone either side so one two that's actually sand, we don't want to use that. Smooth move sandstone up to the top and then all the way across the top by one. One, two. And let's do some big open doorways here maybe. I think that might work quite well. So, um, should we do it? Let's do it this height. One, two, one, two. Let's do just a massive big open doorway like that. And across the top, if you want something like that kind of open plan as well, you can have that going across the top like that. And then if you want these as two separate doors, you can get the smooth sandstone, fill it in like that, something like that. You could even do it all the way to the top there. So you've got something like that. And then we can grab our slab and then we can put our trap doors underneath like we have with the others. And then we could just have like little gateways to get in. You can even do them at the top so they look like windows as well. That's nice. And then if you would like, you can of course, um, and we don't need to do it for that anyway, do we? So that's fine. Perfectly fine like that. What you can do in the middle of here, you could have something like, um, you could have that but then get some bushes going up to about the same height as that, maybe a bit past. That might look quite nice like that. And then you can have like little chairs out here. So for the little chairs, let's say something like this. I think this will work, just the two like that. Get those going around like that, and then it's looking out onto a view. Have a little table in the middle or something little table there I think that looks fine a little bit of furniture same with out here as well if you want like um, a little chair out here little chair makes it look cozy well cozy that and then um, I'm gonna get like a little pot a little plant pot just a little plant pot there maybe a couple up the side I don't know what sort of plants you would have in a desert thing. Maybe a lot of um, bushes like that. I think that looks good. It's looking good. Uh, we've got the front there. We can maybe work on the garden. That there, we've got that. I might actually put a thing down here. Let's do, let's get dirt block like that. And then we can use the trap doors around it. Let's have a little it was annoying me that it's kind of too plain there, so I'm going to get a bush and maybe go one, two, three, four high, like that. That's looking nice. 
I like how that looks. It looks very good. Yes. Um, so let's go around to this side. That's looking nice there. I think underneath here we could have little bits. Let's have a bush here as well. And we can do the same. But instead we'll use one of those composters. Composters or something. Like that. Very nice. Um, let's do this bit now. Okay, so I'm going to do the smooth sandstone going all the way around. Like this. And then, uh, yeah, I might have a big wide open window here. I might fill that in as well, just so that's level with the actual window that I'm going to do. And then I'm going to cut sandstone. It's going to be quite a large window here. And this one going across there. Smooth sandstone across the top. And then, of course, we'll do what we've done with every other window, like that. And uh, put our trapdoor get that ready underneath like that and then our oak fences so it's looking nice looking beautiful that's very nice there and if you want something like this little kind of windows here as well like a two window there making sure it's all symmetric adds a bit more to it we can do something nice and plain here so the smooth sandstone in this area that would look all right like that maybe get one going down here so let's get a, a two window here with a, a two height smooth sandstone going around but you can change the window um, sizes and stuff it doesn't have to be like that you could even have just a, these sort of windows there as well that adds to it so it gives it something but yeah, just know that you can kind of change it around. It doesn't have to be exactly like this. You don't have to worry about that sort of thing. And then, um, yeah, let's put a bush here with one of those compositors. Compositors. I think they look quite good, these. And for these ones round here, I kind of want to trim it round with some of these so it looks, so we can kind of tell that it is plants it's for the plants this maybe get some little bushes on there same with this as well if you wanted to add a window do the one windows without anything like that so it's a bit more like that but if you would like and you want to add something to it you can just stick one of those on instead for each one which works as well let's put something in here let's actually i might use a white flower here something different got a bit better daylight out here I don't know and um, for this here let's put it on the inside like that so that's trim around like that and then this one we're gonna have to do this a little bit different aren't we and um, so I'm gonna have to place some blocks on here so get some placement blocks so we can put them on the outside like that because we're going to be removing those anyway like that and we've got that going up very nice and then where this joins here we might as well put something going up to there we're going to have a doorway coming down here i'm going to have some stairs going down into the build here so as soon as you come to the thing in fact it might be a bit too much that Let's fill this with smooth sandstone going up to the top here by two and then we can have the floor panel there let's have this going across here that joins onto this here across there and then we can put the stairs going down so like maybe three set and it should come down perfectly and fit don't know I'm just kind of guessing here there we go like that coming down there and then you can put some stairs underneath so we still got that room or you can fill it all in but you kind of want a bit of room there let's put a doorway here so I'm gonna use the yeah I might do that going all the way up to the top and then we can have above the doorway something like that might do it three height make it a little bit better fill that in with the smooth by the stairs here 
we could maybe have this going across at this height and maybe have some windows there just some two windows or something like that or you can just fill it all in because we've got one there we might as well put one at the other side so we get that going up there so it's kind of staying symmetrical and then because it's symmetrical we can have our windows there something like that get our smooth sandstone and fill in the rest which could work quite well but just remember you can have like if you you feel like there's not enough light there you could have like that going down and then you can even see a bit of the stairs there so yeah that's entirely up to you so we've got that room um that's nice and filled up uh, let's see we want a second floor here of course and this going across now you want to end the stairs at the point where you, you can only just get through so maybe at that window yeah perfect so there so from that wall you should have one one two three four and on the fifth one you can fill that in there and then we can fill this across here at this height which is the, the floor level height and on the outside as well if you want it as smooth sandstone so you haven't got that going all the way through but I kind of like it kind of breaks it off because that's going to be these are going to be in the way anyway so you're not really going to see it but yeah I will get this floor level down I might actually leave that overhang so you can see down the door because I kind of like that I think that looks quite cool so we've got a bit more room when we enter the door from the bottom so I fill that in and then um, yeah maybe uh, I'll work on that bit before I start doing this but smooth sandstone for this bit and then let's get our trap door let's get a trap door of the spruce I think an overhang like that would be fine like that so when you come in let's get a doorway here actually so you can change all these lines you can take them out and stuff let's get like that quite a high doorway I would say and then um, have maybe a smooth sandstone coming down from here and maybe a little stair coming down that comes down into there and you can go down into here I'm gonna replace that come down into that bit might have like three stairs or something or you can move it back and have a staircase there so you can kind of mess around with what works maybe do something like this like that so you've got little passages there and um, I'm gonna fill all this in with smooth sandstone in fact I might just this two here I'm gonna have a door so we can actually get underneath and we could have like a secret garden area here so I'm gonna bring that down there and then across the top of the doorway like that I'm gonna just have like a gateway into there because that's gonna be underneath the garden so we've got that the interiors looking nice same with this as well leave an area just so you can actually get in because uh, I didn't think that through so a little doorway there I think and then smooth sandstone to fill it all up maybe a window there or something like that maybe three height might be nice like that have a gateway going into it kind of like the sand floor as well but I'm gonna probably put something else in so yeah we could do something with that and we could dig it out get something I'll probably leave that for the main interior same with this as well so this you can place a doorway wherever you like I'm gonna bring these up to the top and then smooth sandstone filling in these areas might have a one window two windows or something like that maybe something like that I think that'll work well like that and then uh, across this doorway I like these three high doorways kind of look nice something like that so from the outside this is kind of there that area because this is going to be all built up so from this now I'm gonna bring it across and then up from here so where we've got that split area 
And then, so we've got that there. And then this one, I'm gonna go one higher. So let's go from about here. Bring it across. Um, might put that there. Instead, I'm trying to think what I'm going to do for this little bit. I'm pretty sure I did this right. So I got this going on inside here, like this. So we've got our garden, and then I put dirt. So once we get, we might as well fill this bit in. And then, yeah, I'll put the trim going all the way around. But from this garden, in fact, we'll do the trim now, eh? Um, yeah. Like that. And then, obviously, from the outside, we're going to have to do it a little bit different. So we're going to have to put grass there. Or whatever block of your choice just to place these. It's our little trim going around works well so yep yeah, and then we can fill this bit in so we're gonna have another garden here basically where it's got the, the water going around that thing and we'll have it kind of trickling into this garden as well because they're both flowing into each other and when it comes to this i'm gonna have this here i think i'm gonna do it this way so it leaves a bit of a gap there like that Leave it like that. Yeah, I think that's nice. Then we can come out into here. I might put another little chair here. If it'll work. No, it won't. Just the one there, actually, yeah. Just the one little chair there. So I can just chill out in this little area. And then we'll go up and we'll do the same with this one. So it'll be a bit higher this time. So it'll be like this, going all the way around. All the way around to this bit. I'll just fill it in over this bit, actually. Like that. And then we'll have a two floodway coming through. But I'll put the grass in first, just so I know what I'm doing. that and then I'll put the water in that water will flow down into there let's see would it work like that now it probably worked just like that it should flow okay but I'll just try it first if it doesn't I can always put something like that on like that that flows into that one no yeah so I do something like with that stop it no that and that there Why is that not? Okay. Why is it flooding? Okay. Let's see what would work. So that goes into there. With, aha! Let's put two like that. See why? Why does that do that? We'll find a way. We'll find a way. I'm sure of it. Um. Post like that, that, and that. Something like that. So it kind of looks like it's flowing into it, I guess. It's, uh, that's good enough. So like that. So just some blocks there. Um, but yeah, that'll do anyway. It looks like a water feature, so that's what matters. And then... It just flows underneath those anyway. Perfect. So it kind of works, so yeah. I'm going to put some plant pots on there as well. So it looks a little bit more nicer. Let's see. Let's get that going through there. Um, or we could... Get this. Like that. But then we might as well take out 
these four. Oh no. Got grass blocks underneath there. Might as well put the, those out because we're not going to be able to use that bit anyway, so. That goes into there. Might as well turn that into a thing so it's all symmetrical. That goes to there. And that goes to there. Yeah, you can mess around with that, whatever works for you. You can actually keep the grass. I'm just not going to put anything on, really. Like that. And then, of course, we're going to need, like, maybe take this out. I need the stairs there. And then we're going to have a little stairway going through. So we can actually get up onto that. And, yeah, so uh, I'm going to bring this all the way around. And we're going to have to use the grass blocks again so we can place these ones. But you get the idea, you can kind of change it, make it your own. Um, so you kind of, uh, change that little bit to however you like. But I think something like that works really well. It's got a nice little garden. And then for here, let's get some smooth sandstone. One, two. Let's have our doorway here. So. I'm gonna have something like that. That smooth sandstone, in fact, is gonna go up here. And then I'm gonna have just a doorway made with smooth sandstone, because otherwise it won't work. And then we can have two little windows there, maybe, something like that, which we will use these. I'm gonna have a little doorway. I might actually use a proper door for that, so this top one just to get it out of the way while I'm here. Um, where is it? Spruce? Go on. There we go. So from the outside there, that doorway works. Good. Might put a doorway on this one as well. From the inside. There we go. Right, we've got that there. And then at the side here, what we can do is remove that and put that across there. So we can put some pots and stuff on there. Or maybe even a bush. Make this area look a little bit more lived in. Okay, we've crossed here now. Um, I'm going to sneeze. Uh, and that across there. Don't sneeze. Oh my god! Uh, uh, that's going to ruin my recording, but oh well. Right. That... I kind of want, um, let's put, we're going to have a floor in here, aren't we? This is going to be, I kind of only want two there. And then this coming up to here, in fact. So it goes into that one, and um, I kind of want some of the floor. I think that should be enough there. I kind of want it open plan there, so you can, you can kind of see up. So you've only got these little bits and you don't feel completely enclosed. Um, let's trim it round with some of this. So it looks nice on the inside. Trim that round like that, and then we can use some of these to make it look nice. But we need a way to get up into here, so I'm going to have to figure that out. That's going to be a kind of staircase, maybe. Should we get a staircase coming down from here? A staircase coming down from here or something like that. Hopefully this is a, a good enough interior. Obviously I'm not putting all the furniture and stuff like that, but I'm trying to get as much as I, I can done, because uh, I don't usually do this sort of stuff. But if you want something like that, you can kind of fill it in up to that point like that and then have this going across like this and then this bit here it would be cool because you can go like that fill in that bit there might as well and then if you would like you've got a little balcony you can see over there or you could have let's see 
that going up there is a bit of a support pillar for that bit. And uh, we can replace that one anyway across the top with smooth sandstone, sorry. Like that. So yeah, that's cool. I'm getting that little area there. That looks alright. I can deal with that. Maybe for these bits here, you can add just a smooth sandstone and just have it going around from that area. I think it might work a little bit better like that. And yeah, it's got a lot to it, this. I think that looks really cool. You can light it up with some lanterns and stuff. Of course, we're going to have a doorway here. Might have just the one doorway, and then you come in, you've got it straight down there, like that. And then maybe a little window there. Another little window here, maybe. Two window there maybe and a one window there keep it nice and basic and um, yeah have that coming around to here you can maybe have this coming through the stairs just to make it look a little bit different like that it's got a cut off point that comes around there you can still get under all right <laughs> he's taking his llamas there get some um, bush going around here fits around that little area take that out put it like that or something but that's all right where it just ends there with the bushes so that's cool go it like that and then I'm gonna have a doorway here um, a window here even um, we need the polished stuff one two three four I have a four window here and get our smooth sandstone wherever that is the sides and get some of that going across the top as well and then that going across that going across and then of course we're going to put this underneath that going like that perfect I kind of feel like it needs a bit of a bush there and a compass to whatever compass there we go maybe a bit shorter about that that's perfect and then this wall here let's put a little window here so in between these two so just a three window I think three at the top and then the rest of it with smooth sandstone fill that in one two three one two three one two three one two one two one two sorry and then this is gonna go up one two three one two three extra so it's four altogether. Let's do this first before I raise it any higher. So we've got that and that and then this underneath and then when this is placed over so yeah I'll do one higher and then do it like this. Kind of want some bush over this one and get some bush and put it over. A bit of a extra balcony like that and then of course you can have it coming down the build like that something like that it's kind of dangling through which works that's fine and then for this one here as well let's get the smooth sandstone either side and then let's do one two three window there and a one two three window there and then fill in the rest with smooth like that and then get our spruce there and there and that underneath and that underneath there might actually for this one have these sticking out like that and of course going around this so we're trimming it off so it looks a bit better there we go and then let's get it in there we'll add some plants to that a little bit later um, I think we need a bit of a bush here so I'm going to use that again let's have a one two three bush there with that same on this side mm, I'll fill it in with some vines and stuff but let's have a look so far it's pretty awesome kind of like it 
Now, I kind of feel like this area needs something. So, I'm going to go from here and bring it all the way across. Let's leave a bit of a gap here, say like a three gap. And then that comes round to maybe where the stairs are, roughly, about there or something. Just keep levelling it off, kind of gives it a little courtyard feel. Um, get some of those around, that looks nice, I like it, looks very good. Uh, what else do we need? Right, let's add some vines. Okay, let's get some vines. Some vines and some buttons now. Now we want to decorate the build so we're kind of like, it's got like little bits of buttons all around. It can be completely random, just bits like that. So it gives it some more details and stuff like that. And uh, maybe some on this wall. Maybe you could have a bush down here, kind of folding up. Have bits on this wall here. And then same around here. Just stacking those buttons around. I forgot to do this. So that there, that there. And this underneath. And then our, what are they called? Um, gate posts. Putting them in our window. Let's work our way around the bottom floor with the buttons. And then, yeah, so just something like that. That works. Like that. Maybe just the one there. One there. Have that by the doorway. One here. Like this. Perfect. And then some scattered around there. Just one in there maybe. Like that, perfect for the bottom floor. Let's add some vines now for the bottom. Um, so we've got like vines growing from the bottom, like some of them growing up, some not. Maybe coming up the building like that. That looks nice there. Maybe from here. Some vines growing around this area. Like that. Yeah, let's go around here. Just where. The wall's a little bit plain at times, so we can add some vines. Like that coming up there. Just like that. You can actually take that bit out. Just so you've got your vine going through. Some vines underneath. And I forgot to do this for this bit. So, fill that in. So it looks a bit nicer. Um, let's see. Coming through there, maybe. I have a vine going all the way to the top. It kind of like takes away from that bush. You, you don't want stuff too distracting. Some going up there. Maybe some up there. Maybe a vine up there. Some around here. Maybe some on the bottom like that. Maybe just the one there. Going up. That's perfect. And then let's put some vines up here as well. Um, so coming up the building there, maybe some coming all the way to the top. And um, let's see what else can we do around here. Maybe a vine there, a vine there. We still have to do that and that, don't we? But we can keep that fairly plain. Um, a vine maybe coming all the way to the top there, and a vine coming out the tree in the top. So we've got that. That's good. Anything else that we should add? Let's see. Let's have something like this. Because um, the flooring's quite plain. So I'm going to um, maybe do something like this. Just like a two uh, there. A two coming to this doorway. And I might use something like... Uh, you can use whatever you like. But I might use a bit of birch. So it's just... It's subtle. It's like a, a subtle boarding. It's not too over, over you know board and maybe round to here something like that I think that works 
we'll have a look, we'll step back and see if it works. Yeah, I like it, looks good. And then um, you can have like little gateways like this. And then have it coming through and working around the build. Just kind of like uh, where you feel it might work. Let's just have it come around to this area, something like that. look good hopefully gonna add um, a lot more stuff to it as well we need some flowers and pots around and stuff maybe some lanterns hanging from the building I think that's when it'll all come together and start to look even more epic Um not that it doesn't look epic already because I kind of like it Um let's have this come through here let's have a Another two come around to here. I'm trying to keep within the thing, but you guys, you can do whatever you like, you know. Let's have it come around to here. Um, got rid of it there. Coming all the way around. I'm going to get rid of that stuff for the thumbnail anyway. Um, I'm just going to have it linked into that area there. Just a nice one path and stuff. You can put some bushes around it and walls around the area. But I'm just kind of showing you what you can do. You, you obviously don't have to do it exactly like this. Um, but you know, you can place plants around. Growing. Because you're in the desert after all, you know. Um, let's do something here. Let's get some bamboo. Um, bamboo. So we'll get some bamboo. We'll get some... Let's get some wheat seeds. Um, in fact, let's have a little look in here. I guess I've got some of the resources I was going to use. Some beetroot. I'm going to use some chains. Might use some more of those. Some lanterns. So we're going to decorate it. And... Um, Let's have a campfire somewhere. I kind of want to place a campfire. Let's have that as well. I'll get the bone meal and stuff later. Right, I'm just going to get this out of the way with the... So one there. One there. One. One. Two high. One. Three high altogether, sorry. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then maybe have something like this on top I want them kind of all going the right way all the same way even crouch down so I can get them all together I might have to face this way so I oh, know what that's not working there we go not going the right way but oh well you get the idea like that it's just a little coverage there and then um, Let's see, that works like that. And then I just want to see where I can fit this. Should we have it there? <laughs> That's a bit too close, but have it out here, actually. Let's have a campfire out here and then get some logs around the campfire. Like that. I think that'll look nice very good let's just uh, zoom I just want to see what it would look like yeah I like that perfect it's really coming together it's coming together good and we need some lanterns of course I want some lanterns hanging from here I think I think it'll look quite cool having some lanterns hanging from these little things here nice little swinging lanterns like that. Where else would be good for lanterns? Um, maybe. Oh yeah, I said I was going to do one here. Let's get the chain hanging from there. I just think it's a good concept. I kind of want one above the door, and um, maybe we could have them on. Do you know on top of here, just to light it up. Let's get another one underneath here. 
maybe the one on the windowsill and uh, yeah I want one coming out from one two might do it a bit higher because I'm gonna do the chain chain coming down lantern boom oh my god it looks so good <laughs> and then yeah, this here Let's put one there maybe have the lanterns hanging from here so one there one there one there and where is it on the other side there lantern on either side just to light that up I might have one coming out of the building here on a chain perfect by this doorway as well I can have it hanging from that that's good any more one either side this because it's a bit of a longer one Um, just the one on there let's have a little lantern coming through here Um, yeah might do this on a chain as well let's go down like that like that very nice lantern maybe outside this door we need to work on that still I've been putting that off I'm kind of getting stuck with the rest of them. I'll do that last anyway. Um, let's do some of the wheat now. Um, let's get some of the bone meal. Let's get some of the bone meal and some of the beetroot. We've got the beetroot and that. Yeah. For here as well, we can decorate it by adding some barrels around the place. Like there, make it look a bit more busy and lived in stuff. Um, yeah, let's do this. So we've got like our garden to grow stuff. So you can obviously grow whatever you like. I'm gonna put some beetroots for this one, maybe, and some wheat for the other one. But you can use whatever you like, carrots or whatever you need near your farm. Let's uh, use some bone meal to put them up. Very nice, very nice. Perfect. Definitely think this is the ideal desert farm house thing. What do you think? Let's um, do our wheat here. Let's grow a bit of that. There we go. So we've got that wheat, we've got the beetroot. Um, around here we've got two other gardens. Like what other seeds are there? Um, let's have a look. We've got cocoa, melon seeds maybe, pumpkin seeds. I don't know how much room pumpkins need. Is it something like that? And then you have to have rows either side or something. Something like that, anyway. And then you can fill the rest in with bone meal or whatever. And then you can have maybe, you can maybe have a sugar cane farm. Can we grow, I want to see if um, I can grow sugar cane at the side of that. Because that would be cool if we could. Yeah, awesome. I have the sugar cane obviously too high and we can have like a, a secret garden in there I want kind of an overhang here so we're gonna have to get some of this going on top of these so that sugar came to there so it's kind of like a little secret area where I could put a little deck chair in there as well have a little no, you can just walk through actually probably be better and now I'm going to um, sugar cane and that going to have a, a bigger seat one, two, three you can share it with your friends there we go 
can be a bit awkward this one. There we go, we've got like a secret thing in here. Maybe put a lantern in there as well. That looks awesome. That's wicked. Um, maybe for this one, just so it kind of goes down, the roof goes down. And then it's attached to that. Pretty cool, don't you think? Have that attached to that side and that attached to that side as well, just to make it look. Maybe have a little bridge here. Um, so we have that there. See, so like that, and then you can go into here, chill out, do whatever you like. Um, let's get the bush and pot. Maybe a pot just randomly around the areas, you know. You can put whatever flowers you like, but because it's a desert and keeping a lot of uh, stuff here. No. Maybe one there. Like that. Very nice. Maybe some pots around here. You can make them random so they don't have to be like this, but. Um, yeah, I'm just giving you quick ideas of what you can do and stuff. Maybe have a whole ream of different flowers, so uh, grab your flowers out and, uh, yeah. Like that, nice. Maybe one there. Um, maybe by the doorway up here. Someone might have some flowers around there to make it look nice. Maybe a bit of carpet up there or something, just a bit of white carpet or something. Or like a mat as you come in. Right, yeah, let's work on this bit. I think we've pretty much done all the exterior. Um, got the flowers there, that's good. And yeah, we've pretty much done it. Apart from, yeah, I forgot to put some of the oak fences in here. Put them at the top as well. Like that, but what do you think, guys? I think it's pretty awesome. Let's do this. Smooth sandstone going all the way around here. And across the top by two times. Just for now. We might take some out. You know me. Right, um, I kind of want a one window here. But I want to, where's our chiseled? Um, we get some of the chiseled, some of that. We're gonna have the spruce. And we need the spruce slab. Yeah. So let's have a one window there, one window there, and then a bigger three window here. Might do it at the top there as well. And these at the bottom. So yeah, three window high. One for these ones and a uh, two window high for that one. And uh, yeah, let's put that across there. I'll put some vines around it so it looks a little less bare. Um, it's taken a while this so far though. I um, wonder how long this video is going to be. Hopefully, I should be able to get it out today. Today being Saturday, so uh, yeah. Oh yeah, and um, the buttons, of course, just to add to it. There we go, very nice. This one, we could actually have it as um, a balcony. So we're going to have to put our placement block so we can um, place these in. Like that. I think that's perfect. Perfect. Um, 
I wonder if we should do... Yeah, I'm going to turn this into a full block and this into a full block. And then have this one, two. Two high. One, two. And then, in fact, three. And we can have this as um, a bush balcony. So we can add some more leaves and stuff. like that. I wonder what it would look like with this going round here and then having that as the bush. Yeah, I like that. And then because we've got that, we might as well cover it up anyway. Um, might do that from the outside. And then double it up there so it looks uh, a bit thicker, a bit more supportive. There we go, very nice. On the inside, put that bush there. And then I'm gonna have the doorway maybe, let's get smooth sandstone there. Let's have a step going up, maybe there or something. And then have this going all the way up to the top here. And then across the door, that, very nice. And then, um, sh move sandstone either side, and then I might keep those as windows, like open plan windows, maybe with this on top as well. Just like that. And, um, something like that the side with a bush so when we're coming through that door I might give the door something and a support beam going up from there that just lifts into that so yeah that's looking nice might put another support beam here but have one of these ones instead goes to the top there so you can come out onto this balcony here um, some barrels outside for some reason you can even have a little chair like that against the wall of course we're going to have our buttons uh, did I put buttons on that one I did yes so that looks perfect and I think we are about done of course I've just got the this here so I'm just gonna go on the inside and make sure it's all filled in properly of course we're gonna have a doorway here I'm gonna have that to the top that to the top and then the rest with smooth sandstone just to fill that in and then across the doorway that smooth sandstone so we can get into this little bit where we've got the window there I'm gonna double up on those something like that so we've got that and then we've got this that I need to fix. Um, it's coming through there so I'll double it up with that. And then round the edge as soon as I've got that. And I'm going to do this because we need to do this anyway because we've got the dirt there so we've got a nice spruce ceiling. Same in here as well. Bring up that dirt from the inside. But I think people will get quite a pleasant surprise when they click on this because I don't think the thumbnail will give it justice, to be honest. I'm not sure. But it might do, you never know. Um, I'm going to have another doorway here and maybe have just plain walls here. And then, of course, I'm going to have that plain wall. Maybe a little window. Like that, so we're coming to here. That's nice there. We've got this gateway here. I'm going to get rid of that. We've got that there. 
this, got another gateway, this going into this area, that going down into there. And then we've got that big tall room. We've got this coming through here that bleeds outside. And we've got that that goes onto this. We've got the top balcony here. And then we can go out onto this balcony. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, it took a very, very long time to do this. And uh, let me just zoom in. And hopefully you enjoyed it enough to slap a like on the video. And uh, yeah, let's hope this video does well. I kind of don't like the vines over there for some reason. But anyway, check out my other videos. It's good to be back. And thank you so, so, so much for the support, honestly. Because, uh, yeah, I, I, I thought I would come back and nobody would be here, if I'm honest. Because it's been so long. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's good to know that there's still people around. So, yeah. Um, I forgot to do the top button, so I might as well, while I'm here... Add some buttons in there for that. I did for that one, but not the top there. So yeah, that's all done and dusted. That's all sorted. I like that. So I'm going to trim it all up and get the thumbnail ready. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I shall catch you in the next video. Almost addicted. Signing out. I've still got this skin on because I'm still offline. Sorry about that. Sorry. Seriously. Look at that. Wow. Catch you later.